Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. And now we're ready for a life hack. Angie, are you ready for a life hack? This one is actually pretty good. This is today, of course, March the 21st. Want to make your handwriting neater. Did you ever have problems with penmanship in school? I imagine you didn't. Oh, I do. You did? I still do. Okay, well, yeah. here, I've got, you know, here's my lesson for you. Uh, use a lighter, not tighter, but a lighter grip. You'll get smoother lines that flow from word to word. I remember doing cursive. That's true. <laughs> I'm telling you, I never was that good at cursive. I'm, I've always been a good printer. I, I always print. And I remember, I remember uh, one of my teachers said, Ron, maybe you should just print everything. I can't read your cursive. <laughs> it's the way it goes sometimes. Let's take a look at it right now at our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera, Deaconess Gateway, of course, getting the goods on the traffic. We saw a pretty big backup on Lloyd Expressway earlier today. Uh, we had an accident. It was a multi-car accident, too, at the Lloyd and Cross Point. That's been cleaned up long ago. Looks like everything's flowing smoothly now. No problems at 66 and 69. Major interchange there on the Warwick Vandenberg County line. And you can see the flag blowing in the breeze right there. We've got that south wind at around 10 to 20 miles an hour, warming the air up, but not warming you up because it's blowing your body heat away from you. And we don't really have the sunshine now. We had some sun earlier today, not so much right now. Although in some spots, you might see some veiled sunshine. Northbound, southbound bridges. Of course, those are important bridges there on Highway 41 crossing over the mighty Ohio River. 40,000 cars and trucks go over those bridges on a given day, on average anyway. And there's the mighty Ohio, a scene from on top of Fifth Third Bank from our Superior Ag camera. Right now, the temperature at the airport on the north side of town, 48. We've got a south-southwest wind at 9 miles an hour. Yeah, pretty good wind kicking out there. And as we take a look at the temperatures, fairly wide range. A little chillier up to the northwest where it's 45 in Flora and Fairfield, 52 down in Madisonville and Greenville, 51 in Tell City, 50 for Mama and Calhoun, 49 in Jasper, and 49 in Princeton currently. Here was the sunrise. If you missed it today, and it looked pretty close to this in Evansville, not exactly sure where this was taken, but it was this morning, and it was delightful to look at. And Daniel Hagen is the one that got that great shot there, the striped sky, and it was a beautiful... And I love how you got the fence post silhouetted up against that sky, too. That's an awesome shot. Daniel, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Got some rain moving up from the southwest, so a little ahead of schedule. Most of the rain's going to hold off until later on this afternoon, but obviously some drops now starting to fall in Hardin County, just outside of Union, Webster, and Hopkins County. So it's coming up from the southwest. We had a little bit of light rain earlier today uh, work its way into I-57 corridor and then taper off. I mean, you saw there was very little left of it uh, not long after daybreak. But this batch is the one that's going to really get us uh, inundated with rain. We've got a little, a little batch that's moving in ahead of that that's going to get us a little wet before we see the main event, basically. It's nothing severe, but that's when once that rain kind of kicks in later this afternoon, it's going to stick around for a few hours. More clouds continuing to stack up, so it's going to be tougher and tougher to find sunshine as we go through the next couple of hours. And really, by 1.30, 2 o'clock, we're all pretty much socked in with an overcast sky. Future to tracker really not putting a lot of credence in that rain that's coming through right now. I think it's going to be a little ahead of schedule. And you got four o'clock pretty much right on top of Evansville, even some heavier pockets. And once we hit like basically the mid afternoon hours, we're pretty much socked in with the rain as it continues to work its way from west to east across the tri-state. Again, some heavier pockets, not really expecting any thunder. You might hear a rumble or two. The better chance is going to come on Thursday and Friday with some thunderstorms, though. And really tomorrow afternoon, you might see right here anyway, a few rumbles of thunder. Anyway, the main event for today is going to be out of the way by around 9, 10 o'clock. Got some straggling showers overnight. And then first thing tomorrow morning, it might see a little bit of rain down to the south, but the better chance for rain comes around midday, late morning, early afternoon. This is where you might hear a few rumbles of thunder out there, but nothing severe as that kind of cuts on through. And really by mid-afternoon, that rain event is off the board. Still a lot of clouds, maybe a stray shower or two, though, as we head into the evening, especially up to the northeast. But for most of us, by mid-afternoon, that is over with. And then we dry out a little bit as we head into Thursday. You can see some breaks in the clouds, too, as we head into Thursday morning. But, yeah, more rain moves in later in the day on Thursday and a good chance for showers and storms Thursday night and also throughout the day on Friday. Rainfall forecast, this is just for the next couple of days tonight and also tomorrow, really this afternoon into tomorrow. And we're talking about anywhere from about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch is what we're expecting. So a decent little dousing, but a bigger dousing on Thursday and Friday. High today, 54 degrees, clouds, some sunshine, but less and less sun really from here on out. And the rain holding off for the most part until the afternoon. Breezy Yes, with that south wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. On the three degree guarantee, I called for a high yesterday of 52. Bingo! It was 52 degrees. Let's hear it for Elizabeth Hamilton of Owensboro.
Congratulations, Elizabeth. You've got yourself a sock cap, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. We're going to run out of sock caps here fairly soon, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> it's just we're, we're getting warmer now. Uh, but we are going to transition to umbrellas. But we're going to get rid of all the sock caps first. We don't want to leave any out there. Uh, 61 degrees tomorrow, so we warm up 73 on Thursday. The problem, of course, is going to be the fact we got a chance of rain. But it looks like the rain should hold off until later in the day on Thursday. But it is going to be windy. And it's going to be windy, too, on Friday and wet. Got a good chance of rain on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. Now you see the chances for rain in the morning on Saturday though. Most of the rain is going to fall before daybreak and then on Sunday it's going to be late in the day. So a good chunk of the weekend, Angie, is going to be dry and we are going to get some sunshine, especially <laughs> Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. But yes, a lot of wind out there, but it's not going to drop. Today we started below freezing at 31 here in Evansville. Some places even colder and we've been below freezing the past several mornings. No more below freezing temperatures for the rest of the seven. Well, let's years. hear it for that anyway. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mother Nature, for yes. that, right? Uh, this is a great shot from last night. Oh, the first sunset of spring in Owensboro. I love the birdhouse here and the silhouetted fence. I love how you can look through the fence and see that sunset last night. Lisa Black got that from Owensboro. Lisa always sends in some really cool shots. I love the way she framed that one up. Good one. Beautiful. Thanks, Lisa. Good job. We will be back with more local lifestyles. Friends of Centers up next. Great story.